Another important tool to study a company's liquidity risk is working capital tender ratios. This method we include three tender ratios: accounts receivable, inventory, and accounts payable tender. And two of them are current assets, and the one is current liability. Uh, you will find we do not use all the current assets and current current liability because these three are majority of current assets and liabilities. More important than others, and we know for all the tender ratios, they can convert them into number of days by dividing three hundred sixty-five. So, for example, the days accounts receivable outstanding means, on average, how many days accounts receivable can be converted to cash. Or in other words, how many days the company can receive payment from customer on average? So the greater accounts receivable tender over, the less you know the fewer days accounts receivable outstanding. That means the company will receive payment earlier or sooner from customer, which is good. Right? It's also for the inventory. Greater inventory tender over. Fewer days inventory held. That means the company is able to sell its、uh, goods in a short time to become sale and finally become cash.、Right. Accounts payable tender over is、uh, purchase divided by average accounts payable.、Uh, if we convert to number of days, it means the、uh, number of days accounts payable outstanding. So, if accounts Payable tender over is、uh, less. That means the more days accounts payable outstanding, which is good for the company because that means you can delay your payment or catch off flow to the suppliers or employees or any other parties. You know,、uh, you should use cash to satisfy the liability. So we can actually formulate such equation. On the right hand side is、uh, days. Inventory held plus days accounts receivable or standing. Right hand side is days accounts payable or standing, and days of working capital financing needed from other sources. Okay, we can understand this、e、equation in this way.、Uh, the days for the inventory held and days accounts receivable or standing. You know the number, the greater number of days. That means the company re may require, you know, may require the the financing. Why? Because a greater number of days. That means the company cannot、uh, receive the cash from the sale or from the customer. And so, to pay off its liability, it probably need short-term financing. So. We can use、uh, the sum of the, this tool as、uh, working capital financing required. Okay, the greater number of days, that means、uh, working capital financing is more likely to be required. And also, days accounts payable outstanding is another force. Is、uh, Working capital financing provided. Okay, this so this is a liability accounts payable. It can be considered financing from suppliers. Okay, so if the number of days is greater for accounts payable outstanding, that means you can、uh, it's kind of uh, uh, financing provided by the suppliers. Okay, so if the number of days. Working capital financing required is greater than the working capital financing provided. That means the company needs working capital financing.、Right. Otherwise, the company will not be able to pay off its current liability. For example, if I assume the inventory held is 30 days, 
accounts receivable on average is 45 days. So the number of days working capital financing required is 75 days. 75 days. And the suppliers provide the credit or uh, financing for 50 days. Okay, that means on average you, you will pay your liabilities in 50 days. Uh, so in other words, the supplier provides you 50 days financing for the short term debt. So there are still 25 days of you know, needed. Okay. So that means the financing provided by supplier is not sufficient. So the company is going to borrow from the creditor, okay, short term debt, or any other resources. Okay. So this is a good way to investigate the credit risk. Okay, we actually can convert this equation to this way. On the left hand side, it's just the number of days of the financing required. Okay, so the smaller number of days, that's good. The fewer number of days, that's good. Okay? Because the company actually, uh, the supplier provides more uh, uh, enough financing for its uh, inventory and account receivable. It does not need to seek other sources of financing. So it can be, you know, you know, negative. Okay. So if working capital financing is negative, that means the company actually uh, have no working capital problem. Okay. The supplier suppliers actually provide enough uh, financing for its assets, inventory and accounts receivable. The example like Amazon. Okay. Amazon has lots of suppliers and sellers. So Amazon, when they receive the payment from customer online, it can delay the payments to these uh, sellers or suppliers okay. because it has such a uh, huge bargaining power over these smaller sellers or suppliers. So uh, this is a this is a, a good for Amazon. So this is uh, the number of days is kind of indicator for the company's liquidity uh, risk. The fewer number of days, the uh, less likely the company has uh, liquidity risk. All the liquidity risk is lower. And don't forget, when you apply this uh, tool, you should consider the industry okay. and also other uh, external characteristics or factors or the, or the company's uh, its own strategies and operation. For example, the Tiffany okay, actually uh, is the inventory state uh, inventory held probably more than 365 days, right? So it probably need working capital financing. But uh, this is uh, uh, for jewelry companies. So you cannot compare the jewelry company with an you know, online retailer such as Amazon. Right? So again, when you use all the tools we introduce. Don't forget to consider the industry characteristic and also the company's own uh, characteristics.